if you are Tom Brady yeah. and you keep giving this guy chances, how are you feeling about Antonio Brown right now? I think if you're Tom Brady, you have uh, reconciled with yourself who he is. Mm. Uh, we have to remember what Antonio Brown was dealing with and going through when he was in New England. And Stephen A. mentions it all the time. Tom Brady offered his home to Antonio Brown. They obviously have a different relationship. I think amongst things Antonio Brown has done in life, this one is probably pretty low on where you would start to rank his character as a man. Uh, I think more importantly, when we look at this situation, let's think about why it's a situation. It's a situation because you had someone give you a service and do work for you and you decided not to pay him. Now, before everything blew up with Antonio Brown, I always received those calls when he would do things like this. And I would constantly tell people, I am no reporter. That is not my job to say these things. But these were things I knew. And so when we look at this situation, this is just a continuation of some behavior that has gotten Antonio Brown in trouble before. I don't think it's about what Tom Brady thinks of him. I think it's about what the rest of the world thinks of Antonio Brown from this case. He may not always be able to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, but if you're anyone else, if you're any other team and Tom Brady's not on your team saying you want that man, would you ever accept him and would you ever take him? He's going to be all right as long as he's in Tampa with Tom. But when Tom decides to leave his side, when Tom decides to not vouch for him, where does he go then? Antonio Brown is wrong, but Antonio Brown is not off-brand at all. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either, but it doesn't mean that we should minimize our level of disgust towards him. He betrayed Tom Brady. He betrayed Bruce Arians and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bruce Arians didn't want him. Tom Brady convinced Bruce Arians to want to remember before Tom Brady got there, they were asking Bruce Arians about it. Or actually, even when Tom Brady first got there, they were asking Bruce Arians about it. Bruce Arians didn't want him. But nevertheless, he ultimately accepted him because Tom Brady vouched for him. And I think the key thing to point out here that's so pivotal, there is nothing preventing you from playing the game of football in the National Football League if you are not vaccinated. Carson Wentz is not vaccinated. Yeah. Kirk Cousins is not vaccinated. I think Cole Beasley and others are not vaccinated, if I remember correctly. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, you just have to go through more stringent safety protocol measures. That's it. And still, this man lied and ended up costing himself games because of it. Because he didn't mm -hmm. give a damn about anybody but himself. And at the end of the day, you're right, it's on brand. But what's unfortunate about it is that it's a blemish to Tom Brady when you're vouching for somebody because you're not just vouching for their ability, you're vouching for their character. And Antonio Brown has yeah. shown you, you can't vouch for his character. I think R.C. said That's it perfectly. Tom Brady already knew what he was dealing with. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.